Hi, I'm Drex, and this is Introduction to Poi Spinning from Spin Balls. In this video, we're going to cover two different types of poi movement from which nearly all the poi tricks you'll learn for as long as you spin can be derived. See, most poi tricks fall into one of two categories. The first are flat plane moves. These involve the poi rotating on a single plane. You could perform these moves against a wall, and the poi would more or less stay in contact with it. The second are plane bending moves. These involve moving the poi back and forth between two planes. Usually, these planes are parallel, but can sometimes also be at an angle to each other. While distinct, these two types of movements are also frequently combined together. We're going to try practicing both. First, for flat plane moves, we're going to work with what's called a static spin. This is literally just keeping your hand more or less still as the poi turns around it. Try this in both wall as well as wheel plane. Second, we're going to play with what's called an extension. To perform an extension, swing the poi with a full extended arm. The poi itself should feel like an extension of your wrist and hand, elongating the circle that you're creating. As you're working with extensions, try and always keep your hand in front of your shoulder to avoid injury. If your arm goes behind your shoulder, it increases the chances that you could pull it or dislocate a part of your shoulder joint. And again, try this move in both wall as well as wheel planes. Now let's try plane bending moves. The most common type of plane bending move is something I'm fond of calling a tic-tac or a two-beat. It involves the poi switching from side to side of the body in either wheel or in wall plane. Anytime the poi is pointed away from you, it's switching from one side of your body to the other. This place where it switches is referred to as a cross point. To learn this move, start by rotating the poi in wheel plane on its native side. Now stop it and move your hand across to the non-native side of your body and get the poi turning again in the same direction. Stop the poi again and move your hand back to native side before starting it turning once again. Your goal is to switch back and forth across your body without stopping the poi. The poi itself should always be traveling up when it passes by your shoulder and down when it's pointed away from you. Try to switch back and forth only when the poi is pointed away from you. You can also try performing tic tacs in reverse. This will involve the poi coming down when it passes by your shoulder and up when it's pointed away from you. This takes a little bit of adjustment, but the transition should be exactly the same. Switch the side of your body the poi is on when it's pointed farthest away from you. And, of course, you should learn this with both hands. Here's a great workout to help you master tic tacs. Start by performing 10 tic tacs back and forth with your hand directly in front of you. Then an additional 10 with your arm extended straight out in front of you as far as it can reach. Now, Try bending your elbow to bring your hand up close to your ears and perform another 10 tic tacs. Finally, perform tic tacs with your hand directly touching your chest. This final position is pretty tricky and for the first time requires you to roll your body back and forth. You may find it easier to keep your hand a couple inches away from your chest at first and then work to bring it closer and closer with practice until your hand and your chest touch. Flat plane and plane bending tricks are the first tools that you'll add to your repertoire as you work to gain skills and confidence with poi. Like the plane control exercises, these should be done frequently in your first months of spinning and start to build good technique for years to come. Thanks so much for watching. Now show us what you can do. Share your photos and videos of your progress with spin balls. Mm -hmm.